Hey everyone, welcome back. <laughs> it's Lisa. I also go by the Alkali Yogi and today I'd like to make with you a couple of beverages, um, a smoothie and a coffee. And because I believe in working smart and not hard, <laughs> we're going to uh, make bulk sizes of both so that we have enough to get us through the next three or four days. Um, now these drinks are not fully alkaline, but they're alkaline-ish <laughs> and I'll be adding sea moss to both um, so that we can get all 102 minerals that our body is made of and needs. <laughs> so starting off, yeah, we're going to do a fruit smoothie. Uh, I'm not a big consumer of fruit in general. Uh, I'm more of a veggie person, so the only time you'll really see me consuming fruits are um, in a smoothie, to be honest with you. Otherwise, I'd quite, like, I'd quite like to keep it savory, if I'm being honest. Um, so we're going to need a few basic good quality ingredients. If you saw my videos from last week, you know it's all about what? Quality versus quantity. <laughs> now, because the ingredients that I've sourced are quite high quality and not cheap, um, I have had to, you know, because everyone is on a budget. <laughs> At least we are now, but we're hoping for better times ahead. <laughs> Um, so uh, what I've had to do is kind of um, stretch my milk because it is quite expensive, my non-dairy milk. Um, I'm not currently in Brooklyn, uh, otherwise I'd be shopping at the Park Slope uh, Food Co-op, of which I'm a member, Woo -hoo, Park Slope Food Co-op, <laughs> where I would get this particular milk um, for a more reasonable price. Uh, but because of where I am right now, I'm kind of paying a uh, premium for this particular milk. So what I've done yet is I've already added um, to kind of fill the space, um, I've added uh, some alkaline spring water to the blender portion already. Um, I like to add a bit of sea salt to everything because it remineralizes the water, it's um, great for uh, adding electrolytes, and it pulls out the, fl the flavor in everything. So good salt is good for you. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to um, add a couple of, well, I'll add three bananas. Um, I've let these sit for quite some time. I quite like them this way, to be honest with you. Um, I like them sweet, again, because I don't really consume sweets or uh, fruit, so when I do, I like to get the most sweetness out of my fruits. Um, so I'm gonna combine them in the, to the bottom of the blender, yeah. Um, I will say that if you have access to burro bananas, then uh, that is obviously going to be the alkaline version um, of making a, a smoothie that's based with banana. And I highly recommend that you get yourself some uh, burrow or small bananas if you can find them where you are. I know in Brooklyn, for a fact, you can get them there. Where I am currently, not so much. So having to improvise with just some organic banana and voila. So we've got the banana in the blender. Um, if you're asking about ice, I don't do ice. Maybe it's because I grew up in Europe. I'm not really an ice person. I don't add ice to any of my beverages, not even like something refreshing in the summertime. In fact, I'm the person that actually orders hot beverages all year round. <laughs> so I don't ever ask for a cold latte. I always get my coffees hot. Um, so I've got some organic blueberries, which are alkaline, and they're wild, which is important, as opposed to farmed. So add a good amount of that. A nice hefty dollop, yeah, of raw, and it should be raw because you want the enzymes, not roasted, almond butter. So yeah, this will co cost you considerably more than the regular almond butter, uh, but it's primarily because it has not been roasted, which means it's more alive and more nutrient dense. So um, I guess I'm feeling generous today. I normally just do one, well, I guess that was a teaspoon and not a tablespoon. So I put a tablespoon and a half. Normally I'd go for one nice big um, today I put in a teaspoon and a half, but just go with whatever feels good. I normally put in like a nice big um, tablespoon. Also because I don't go through a lot of almond milk, I don't have any bread in the house. Um, so really the only time that I'm consuming almond butter, if it's not on my Tef pancakes, <laughs> which will make it a future date, is really in my smoothie. Um, I don't always use chia seeds because I have some lying around. I figured what the heck. So I'm gonna just throw in some chia seeds. They do add some nice texture, as well as other nutrients, i.e. omegas, fiber, etc. but there's already fiber in the fruit, nevertheless. Um, and then the other thing that I'm going to add, yeah, is a 
handful of raw organic cashews. Guys, trust and believe this will be one of the best things you've ever had. Anyone that knows me knows that I'm a purveyor of pine beverages. So, so far, what do we have? Yeah, we have alkaline spring water with sea salt. That is the base. Typically, if we weren't concerned about money, we would be using a lot more milk. Actually, we'd be using all milk and no, <laughs> no spring water. But what I've tried to do today is cut this recipe so it's like half water, half um, milk, because again, the milk is really expensive, but good quality, yeah? So we have the organic bananas, which I would encourage you, if you have access to burrow bananas, the small bananas, get those, please. Um, we've added a nice uh, amount of raw organic almond butter, a handful of raw organic cashews, because we want to switch it up. Um, some chia seeds because I had some and we said, what the heck? Now I'm going to add the magic, the magic potion, yeah, which is the what? It is the sea moss. Because again, it's all about getting the sea moss in there to the point where you can't taste it. But you want to put in a good amount. Um, if you follow this particular recipe, really about, uh, I think it says here, oh, I believe it's one quarter teaspoon but I kind of always just go more. It's actually half a tablespoon. Oh, it's half a tablespoon, so it is quite a generous amount. So it's not just me that puts in a lot. All right, yeah, so I probably put in about a half a tablespoon, maybe a teeny tiny bit more, but it's a sea moss, so you can, who can go wrong with that? Um, now we're going to add the expensive milk, which is, and it's expensive, yeah, because it's two ingredients only, which is what it should always be, in my opinion. So now this is alkaline because it is walnut and filtered spring water, or sorry, and filtered water. The concept of just having a nut milk that has two ingredients is so far removed from people today that when I present this to most people, they're like, well, why does it only have two ingredients? Because that's all it needs, guys. <laughs> Take it back. Remember, keep it simple. <laughs> all the other stuff, the, the, the fillers that they put in, the 12, 13, 14, and 15 ingredients that are added are just not necessary. Not only are they not necessary, they're taking away from you because they're synthetic as far as the argument can be made while well, some of these milks are fortified. Well, anything that's synthetic, your body identifies as such and actually doesn't integrate. So therefore it's not bioavailable. It ends up being a toxic. Uh, it ends up being toxic rather than anything else. So avoid, 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 abort emission altogether. You want to get your nutrients. You want to get it fortified. Yeah. Get your sea moss going because those are natural herbs that come from mother nature and body and the body doesn't actually reject that. So something to think about. Now shake this up nice and well and then bada bing bada boom fill up the rest of the way. Yeah. Ooh, look at the color of that milk. That gorgeous nut milk. It is mucho expensive. But what can I tell you? Let's go for it. Pour it all in there. So good, so creamy, so delicious. Now I'm gonna put you on pause, yeah, so I can go blend this masterful beverage into one delicious concoction, and then we will have a little taste test. And I'm back. All right, so I've put it through the turbo, um, through the turbo setting, and the reason why I've done that yet is because I really like my smoothies quite smooth. Here I've got a nice carafe. Look at the color of that, by the way, from all the beautiful luscious blueberries. Mmm, I can smell the sweetness of the banana as well as the blueberries. I can smell a bit of the um, almond butter. Look at that. Enough to last me for at least three or four days. And guess what that's going to be? Dinner. Because <laughs> if you know me, you know that in the evenings I prefer to keep it liquid. <laughs> because you don't need fuel in the evening. That's when you're meant to go into your rest and digest mode. And the best way to do that is to cannot is to not consume foods or solids. So most times I'll even just make a sea moss tea, but sometimes when I really need it, if I'm feeling low energy, uh, then I'll have a smoothie with sea moss instead of the sea moss tea. So as l the lighter that you can keep it, yeah, the better, trust me. That way your body can do what it's meant to do at nighttime, which is rest and digest. That's how you stay young, agile, soft, supple, why? because the body is able to go into proper repair mode and repair everything on a cellular level. Um, and not just physically, I want to also add, yeah, that it also does the psychological repair. So, and we need that now more than ever, do we not? <laughs> so make sure you're getting your eight hours of sleep at night. Do yourself a favor, don't make your body 
go into um, go into having to break down foods that it go into repair mode, right? So have most of your food if you can during the day. In fact, your breakfast really should be your biggest meal of the day. Um, and it should really taper off after that. So I preferably, when, I, when I'm on it, like to have a nice hearty breakfast, always savory, a nice lunch. Um, and then after three o'clock, I try not to consume anything and I try to just stick to liquids. All right, so here we have it. It's the moment of truth. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. As we would say in Tigrinya, <laughs> it's really good, guys. Um, I've been told by people that this is the best smoothie they've ever had. So comment below. Let me know what you think. It has just around the right amount of sweetness. It has wonderful flavor profile. A little bit of the chia seeds. You're getting the cashews. Yeah, you're getting the um, almond butter. You're getting the um, walnut milk. We really mix it up because we put three different nuts in there today. Hallelujah. <laughs> we've got the sea moss, which means we've got all the minerals that we could possibly want. We've got the sea salt, which is um, a nice way to kind of um, amplify the all the all the various uh, different flavors and text flavors that we have in there. Not so much textures. And it's also adding electrolytes and minerals in its own way. So here you have a delicious dinner, snack, or just smoothie for a fun day. Mmm. Really good, guys. I recommend you make this ASAP. Let me know what you think. Talk to you soon.